I mean, well ahead of the November 11, 2023 governorship election in Bielsa State, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INIC, has added the name of the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Timmy Bree Silva, to the final list of candidates for the poll. INIC and the new list published on its website said the addition of Silva's name was in compliance with an appeal court judgment delivered on October 31, 2023, which reversed the sacking of Silva's candidacy for the poll. In a new lease, Silver's name is penciled as APC governorship candidate, whilst that of Makaiva Joshua was written as his running mate. Joining us live is Honorable Michael Bless Olomu, chieftain of APC and 2023 APC Federal House of Representatives candidate Sagbama Ekeremo, Federal Constituency by Elsa State. Honorable Michael, good evening and thanks for joining us on News Now. Good evening. Thank you. So, what are the chances of your candidate? Yeah, I want to commend the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for a free and fair playing plan. I also want to commend the security agency. You must also note that uh, our candidate, Chief Timothy Silva, was a governor before now. He understands the terrain, he knows the happening, he knows everything about bias in state. His experience, he has been special advisor political affairs, he has been a minister, he has been a governor, and he has every ability and capability to govern the state. He's well grounded. He has gotten a better experience unlike when he was a governor before now. So we are determined and we are prepared and we are hopeful that by the special grace of God, at least we are going to have 65% okay, um, in the Saturday of mercy election. Well said, Honorable. I, I want to confirm something. You just said that Chief Timipri Silva has been a governor in Bielsa State. So what do you think he would do differently after he has served in the state and he's now coming back after some years to become a governor in the state? So what do you think he would do differently in Bielsa State? Now, let me bring to the notice of all your listeners that in the past, in the past 12 years in Bayelsa State, there is no pipe bomb water in the state. In the past 12 years in Bayelsa State, there is no free scholarship. I was senior special assistant to the governor, Timmy Prince on student and Bosri affair. The last time Bosri was paid was in 2012. The last time foreign scholarship was granted was in 2012. The last time Biasans were sent abroad for full sponsor sponsorship was in 2012. So you could see that there's a setback from the present administration compared to when he was a governor. I think if he comes in, he has promised the student of Biasa State that by, by March, March of next year is going to commence board uh, payment. It's going to commence scholarship process. He has also promised that there will be pipe bomb water in the state. So he, he knows what the people need. He knows what is lacking in the state. And I believe and I know that he's determined and he's prepared to make changes. Remember, he's going to spend one time. And four years is just a small time. And he has a six-point agenda, which is education, empowerment. I know he's a youth-friendly leader. He believes in the younger generation. That's why you could see that by essence, those between the ages of 50 below are glamoury, are aspiring, are eager to see him in the affairs of the state leadership. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you a two-in-one question because of time. First of all, I want you to tell us how the party is managing the post-primary crisis so that it will go into the election as one united political family. And secondly, I also want you to chip in on um, uh, the, the, your candidate 
I want you to also let us know what he has been doing for the state because he has always been in government. He has always been in government. So what has he been doing for the state before now that he's coming back as a governor? Yeah, if you say what he has been doing for the state, you know he was Minister of State Petroleum while President Buhari was in charge of the petroleum sector. It will interest you to know that the petroleum industry bill, PIBB, was initiated and uh, it has been passed to law. That's a kudos to him because he's a futuristic leader. He knows the yearning and the aspirations of Nigeria and uh, he has the lobbying skills. That's why I see the National Assembly, both the Green and the Red Chamber, you know, were able to pass those bills in the right time. Now, you can also see that the present Minister of um, Petroleum, Senator Enikin Lokobi, a few days ago just said that by December, likely December, the Port Harcourt refinery will be on. Now, these are all the projects that Chief Tumi Presiva took part. The Kaduna refinery, probably by the middle of next year, will come on string. So if you look at the water refinery, the first or second quarter of next year will come. So these are all initiative and laudable projects. He has also embarked as a coordinating minister of state petroleum. Now to the area of the post-election crisis and the rest, you can see that the inspector general of police only yesterday just left the state. As we speak, the... DOC commanding officer in uh, Bori Camp is in Biasa State. All the security chiefs are in Biasa State. State Security Service, the Nava commander, and everybody. We believe that the security are on ground and they are fully responsible for the day to day running of this election. INEC is ready, prepared to see everything are on ground. So we believe that the security agency will do what they think is right and what they think is proper. Yes, our only fear is, you know, 90% of the security indices are being accommodated by the present state government, like the Baisa state government. And you know, if somebody is in charge of where the food you eat, the drink you take, where you sleep, there might be a little of compromise. Or uh, we, we feel we are a little uh, nervous that the security agency with the resources given to them by the federal government should, as a matter of fact, take care of their own accommodation, not depending on the state government. As you can also know that he will pace the piper calls the tune. So if governments are the one that pays for the accommodation, to some extent we are, we are in doubt if the security will be fair to the APC. So we want to also call on the chief of army staff, we want to call on the uh, director general state security service in Nava and every other top security agency to caution their men that the fact that your accommodation is provided, feeding is being given to you by the state government doesn't mean they will compromise their integrity and the, the why they are in Baeza State. So we want to call on the service to, to caution the men on ground because if you go to government house, the cast to all the hotels have been booked by the state government and okay. they are all housing all the top security chiefs in Baeza State. You can send your men around, go all the hotels, 98% has been booked by the state government, fully paid by the state government and that is where the security agencies are staying. So we, 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 as a party, we have a little doubt in our mind that they will be fair to us. But we all know that directive has been given by the president and commander of the armed forces that they should be a fairly clean ground to everybody. So we are hopeful and we know by Sunday as the result will be coming in that APC will come victorious. All right. Thank you so much, Honorable Michael, for joining News Now. And we want to wish you a very successful election come November 11. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be with you. Have a good evening. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.